Okay, a real quick video here on uh, removing carburetors from an old Suzuki. This is a 77 GS 750. It was the first Suzuki they made with the four-stroke engine. And, uh, well, they made a couple of others, but mostly up until 77, they were all two-strokes. It's a four-stroke. Got these Makuni flat or round slide carbs. The great part about these old Suzukis is they had enough room that you could actually remove the carbs without too much difficulty. It works pretty good. Uh, basically, you got a bolt, two bolts at the top of the airbox, one there, one on the other side, your captive nuts on the airbox. Remove those two 10 millimeter bolts, no problem. Pull it loose, loosen the uh, straps. I've already got them loose. I've already had these carbs out before. Rock it back, and you can look. I hope you can see that. There's actually a gap in between here. Slide the box out to the left. Set it aside. That's it. Now we have to just loosen the band clamps and the carburetor throttle. Yeah, throttle and the return. Once again, these are dirt simple, easy to do. I hope my arm isn't in the way. Uh, loosen the jam nuts, basically. This is the uh, what they call the push cable. If you can't get it, you can hold that with one wrench, take another 10 mil wrench. And just loosen the top. That's all it took. in there and loosen that one. Doesn't this old Suzuki really doesn't matter which one you take off first. Slide the cable out. Take the push or the pull cable. I'm just happy to take the pull cable first or the push cable rather. Out. That's all there is to it. Nothing to it. Love these old Suzuki's because they are really simple to work on. Loosen the jam nut on the throttle pull cable. Back that nut up a little bit. This one comes right out as well. Pull the cable loose from the bottom where it engages. Nothing to it moving out of the way. Doing this real time. I don't know what this is taking. Two, three minutes, something like that. Probably another two minutes to loosen the band clamps on the air box. Only have to loosen the screws four or five turns. And yeah, I don't on the uh, intake manifold or insulator caps. I left out taking off the fuel tank and disconnecting the fuel line and the vacuum line. If you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be doing this. You only have to loosen them up a few turns. We'll pull these carbs, clean them, rebuild them if they need parts. Mostly I just clean them. That's it, just a few turns. Move the Kickstarter out of the way on this one. The later models didn't have the kick. Rock the carbs up and down, back and forth. That is how simple it is. They come right out. <clears throat> Most bikes, you'll take the carbs, or the Suzuki's anyway, you'll take the carbs out the right side of the motorcycle. Okay, I hope you're still seeing that and you got something out of it. Now these carbs are full of fuel, so be careful. We don't want to tip them. I'll take them over where I can drain them and, and get rid of them properly. There you go. Put them back together, 
just do the same thing in reverse. Hey, thanks for watching. John's Bikes and Blues, having fun with old bikes. And let me back up and give you a shot of this old bike. It's kind of neat. I mean, this is this is history. This is the first four-stroke Suzuki that they uh, brought in, 77 model. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. Fuel tank sitting over there on the bench. Paint and everything on this old bike was in remarkable shape. Bike only has 9,000 miles on it. And it's 77, but it's been stored properly. And uh, there you go. Hey, thanks for tuning in.